Hey folks, and welcome to a beautiful day here in Bang San. I don't think it would surprise you to know it's hot and sunny today. We're approaching the, not the peak of the hot season here. Songkran would historically be in just a couple days from now, but that is, I don't know, either canceled or put off for the year. But today, I'm uh, just out here on Sukhumvit Road. I'm on my way down to Macro. I want to buy some beef today, a little hankering for some beef and I'm just driving slow on the on the left hand side here because on the way to Macro there's a place I want to stop uh, it's a place I've been meaning to stop it's only been opened I think about two months now and I'm just now getting around to stopping in there but the nature of their business is they sell electric motorbikes uh, totally electric not hybrids or anything like that I'm talking about the type you can plug into the wall charge up and then and then go riding and uh, I believe this is it right up here it's got a, kind of a blue and white sign and it's called SW uh, Speed Motor SW Speed Motor so here it is there's their showroom they've got several models in there and we'll, I guess we'll go in and take a look and see what's doing So, the first time I ever came to Thailand in 1992, most every scooter was what's known as two-stroke. And to save you from all the technical, they, they basically sound like this. And they put out a lot of smoke or, or emissions like this but they were, they were very efficient and they made they, they were able to make power very quickly almost frenetically and for that reason I like them But in 2018, I moved here, and I was shocked and surprised to see that the two-strokes had all but gone away. Everything was pretty much four-stroke, which is a tamer beast. Uh, less pollution, less noise, but also less fun. But I think the next step in the evolution might be something like this. So what exactly is this thing? The company that manufactures this is called Deco. That's D-E-C-O. And this model is called the Sela. And it's a 2,000 watt electric uh, motor. It's plug-in charge. It comes with a charger. I'll show you in a minute where you plug it in. But I was really impressed with the build quality of this. I, I mean... Uh, it's very Honda-esque. Look at this red uh, stitching on the seats, the switch gear. Uh, nothing about it really looked cheap. Um, and, and, and the price of it, uh, you wouldn't say it's cheap. This, this, the price of this is for 49995 so just say 50000 baht. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. But in the range of scooters, I, you know, I guess that would still be kind of a cheap scooter. There's where you plug it in there, right under the seat. And it comes with a special cable. That's all under the seat. I'll show you that in a minute. But this model is top range, but it's not the top model. It's second one down. However, the top model has the same powertrain as this, 2,000 watt. So I think this is a good one to look at. This is the, the cheaper of the two. And uh, there's under the seat. And there's your charger in that box. Um, and, and look, you even have this nice little uh, USB charger. Um, this is this is nice. You got an LED dash, lights, a lot of nice little features. Look at the insulation, the the uh, waterproofing under the seat. It, it's there's nothing here that that felt cheap. Now these are manufactured in Thailand. They're put together in Thailand. The, the parts look like they come from a parent company in Taiwan, which allegedly has 15 years of uh, experience building electric bikes. 
And look at the keys. You even get keyless remote. Um, look at that. So, yeah. So for the same price as a Honda Click, um, right, at, right at just under 50,000 bucks. And that would be kind of a cheap on the click. That would be the 125. That's not going to be the 150 on the click or anything like that. The cheapest on the click, about that price. So I'd even say this is cheaper than a on the click. Because I think they're like 52, 53. Um, this 2,000 watt scooter, all electric. I think it's. I think at least it deserves a look. Um, Especially depending where you live, what kind of riding you're going to do. If you live in a city, if you have access to a charging, uh, uh, an outlet, you know, if you park somewhere on the street and there's no outlet, uh, that's not going to work. But if you live in a condo building, if there's if there's access to a, a power outlet or something, they, I can see they've taken great pains to make it waterproof even under the seat. So, yeah, give it a look. So there's other models in here as well. Th that was the most expensive model they had, the uh, highest model they had, the one we just looked at. This little red one here, uh, all the rest of these in here are only 1,000 watts, so half the power uh, from the other one we just looked at. The white one over there, the pink one, all of these are 1,000 watts. Now those start about 10,000 baht less, so you can get into one of these 1,000 watt jobs for as little as around 40,000 baht. Actually, I think they start at 39, 39, 995. Um, now, anytime there are electric vehicles, uh, the, the big expectation is you'll save money on gas. But then people start asking, well, what's the electricity gonna cost me? So on their website, they have that all broken down for you. I checked in on that. And like the, like the 2,000 watt one up there, which is going to use more electric than a 1,000 watt uh, machine, they say if you operate that at 45 kilometers an hour on average, that would be your average, it would be 12 satang for a, a kilometer. That's how the electric usage would come out. Or about 8 uh, kilometers for one bot. So for one bot of electric, or about, uh, what, six cents or something like that. Not bad. Now, this is, is an, an e-bike. They also sell these. I'm not sure who manufactures these, but I know people are interested in these as well. These are a lot cheaper. This guy is uh, just under 20,000 here. I think these are only like 500 watt or even less than that. They have pedals, so I believe you don't need a license for these. But you can buy these all over the place, not the least of which is Macro. I've seen these at Macro. They have all kind of different, four or five different models to choose from, uh, starting in the high teens, 17, 18, going up to the low 20s, up to about 22 or something. So um, that's another option, uh, those those e-bikes. I, I don't know that I'd want to pedal, but some people might like that. I mean, that is a definitely a <laughs> that's definitely another option, another way to go. Um, all in total, they had like five different models in here, not even not counting the e-bike. So if you count the e-bike, that would be six. And they're just getting going here. This has only been open two months. You, it kind of has that look about it that it's new. Uh, they're just kind of getting set up, and they have a they don't have much stock yet. But this, if this takes off, this this could grow. Test drive. <laughs> so yeah, this little blue one, actually you can see it has a license plate on it, and that's like their demonstrator model. Now unfortunately it is one of the 1,000 uh, watt jobs, not the, not the one I was uh, really hoping which would be the 2,000 watt machine, um, which by the way they say does 100 kilometers per hour. Um, these, these smaller ones, I don't know what they do, but it, it probably isn't that. But she's going to show me how to work it and everything here. It, basically, it's a key that you uh, activate the key, turn it on or whatever. And then there's a button that you have to kind of hold in. And I guess that kind of puts it in drive. So once that's engaged, then you just twist the throttle. Then you're kind of like a, on a normal bike. There's no gears to switch. 
However, however, at least on that more expensive model, the 2000 watt one, there are gears. It says it's a four-speed automatic transmission. It's not a CVT transmission like most of your, uh, like most of your gasoline-powered scooters would be, like a Honda Click or whatever. I compare that other one to a Honda Click because the dimensions are almost uh, exact. Although this one is a tad bit larger. So it was a little bit weird. Same. Same sensation I got with an electric car the first time I drove an electric car. There's no noise, it's perfectly silent, it's perfectly smooth, you just touch the, the throttle and it, it starts moving. It almost surprises you a little bit. Uh, that goes away. I, I remember, the, like I said, I remember that from driving an electric car the first time. That, that, that you get used to it, but at first it's a little off-putting. Um, almost, it almost feels like the vehicle's doing it on there on its own. Uh, because it's not making noise, it doesn't give you the, the normal feedback that you would be accustomed to. But, uh, maybe one day. I don't know if it's for me, uh, but it might be for somebody. <laughs> so I was thinking, as quiet as those bikes are, if you live in the kind of circumstance where you might want to slip out of the house undetected at night, that might be the bike for you. I also noticed that these bikes are very comparable in price to their gas-burning uh, counterparts, unlike cars. Um, you can get your start getting your return on your investment right away on these uh, with the savings in gasoline. So that's a notable factor. Uh, the other thing I would leave you off with is uh, I'm no authority on these or experts. I just went to look at them for the first time today. So uh, there may be many questions about them. So I'll give you a resource for that. Just uh, go to your search engine and type in uh, DECO, or DECO, I think it is, D-E-C-O, uh, D-E-C-O, Motorbikes Thailand, and their website will come up, and you can get all your questions answered there and a lot more specs on the bikes and things like that. So um, that answers the question that I have gotten from people, which is, can you get electric scooters or e-bikes? And the answer is yes. It's a thing here. Let me know if it's a if it's a thing where you live. Uh, but anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, leave this one off here, and I'll, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now. Oh, yeah.